guys and welcome back to my channel and to today's video. So today we're going to be doing another look at the community challenge that I'm taking part in and that is the sketchbook exchange. So I've got another one here that's arrived. So this one has already been sent to somebody and then sent on to me. Um, this sketchbook is actually one of the more special ones um, that I'm going to be receiving because this one is from Cyana Inc. Um, this one, I felt really emotional when I opened this one. Um, I've known Cyan for a couple of years now and been friends with Cyan for quite a few years. So it felt really special to open this and see her artwork in the flesh and in reality. I've seen her artwork quite a lot over the years and it felt really, really special to actually see it in person. And uh, it's just amazing and I felt so honoured to see it. So without further ado, I'm going to get into it. Just quickly before we start, I'd like to give a shout out and a big thank you to my Patreons who go a bit of an extra mile to help support myself and this channel. Um, if you'd like to see your name here, feel free to sign up to my Patreon page, which I will link down below in the description box. So let's take a look at Cyan's sketchbook and the entries that have been added to it so far. These are some really cute sketches and it's really nice to see lots of different artwork from different artists. It really gives a good perspective into how other people work and how other people like to paint and what colours they like to use too. So I think the first couple of pages are done by Sayan herself and then we've had a couple of other artists um, sort of add on to it. Cyan does love bunnies and her work features her bunnies quite heavily and that's definitely very true in the theme she stuck to with her sketchbook. I mean these are just so sweet they made me smile and laugh all at the same time. A bunny bob setting down the hill. <laughs> Sometimes I struggle to come up with really good illustration ideas and it's really nice to see other artists work to be inspired by that because sometimes it does just take some looking at someone else's artwork to kind of get the inspiration flowing. So this here is the next artist. I believe this is Iwan's entry. Apologies if I pronounce that wrong. And she's done some really beautiful artwork here, lovely portrait work and some colour mixing and experimenting on the other page. So these are my pages and this is my space to add my own artwork, which I will be doing. So starting off with a like sketch, I really am not too great at sketching and I never really record myself sketching very much. So um, it, those of you who want to see that kind of thing um, might find this interesting. I actually decided to pay homage to Cyan's um, pet rabbit who unfortunately is no longer with us and he is called Bun Bun and he's a nice bright yellow sandy yellow colour bunny so I thought that I would do a little sketch of him. So on to some colour now, and I'm actually going to be using some handmade watercolours um, that I've made and I can be using them in this sketchbook for this painting of Bun Bun. I really had to take my time with painting Bun Bun because the sketchbook is made with cellulose paper, so it was really important that I do 
layers and let all my layers dry properly before going over the next one or otherwise I was going to end up with a big mess. The colours did look really nice on the sketchbook and I did enjoy um, painting this one. I did have to keep ch quickly checking the page behind me to make sure that I wasn't using too much water and affecting the artwork behind. I believe from what Cyan said, this is actually a Snellier sketchbook. I'm not sure where you can get it from, I've not really seen it on Jackson's here in the UK, but I will try and find out where it's from and try and leave a link down below if anybody was interested in getting themselves their own copy. Overall, I am really enjoying this community challenge and painting in everybody's sketchbooks. It's really nice to push my boundaries a little bit and do something a little bit different. For those of you who aren't aware what's going on, I'll leave a link up in the iCards to the playlist of the sketchbook exchange. So what's happening is um, over on Lee Angle's Discord server, um, some of us decided to club together and do a community challenge where we would exchange sketchbooks with each other and everybody would do their own artwork in everybody else's sketchbook. So at the end of it, everybody would have a sketchbook completed with lots of other people's artwork. It's a really nice thing to do. It's really nice to sort of share and get involved in a community challenge like this because it's really inspiring and can be really refreshing. There are quite a few people um, in this sketchbook exchange challenge and it's going to take a while for all of us to get around each other's sketchbooks. Everybody's all doing it in a different way. Some people are kind of building up sketchbooks, doing all the artwork, then sending loads out. Some are doing one by one and it's happening all across the country from Australia to the USA to the UK and parts of Europe as well. So this is going to be a quite a long um, community project. Um, I think we worked it out that it was going to take nearly two whole years before we got our sketchbook back and that's if we kept the time schedules and didn't have any problems with shipping or anything like that. So I think we're just going to have to be a wait and see how long we all go for and hopefully we can all complete it. It'd be really exciting to get my own sketchbook back and see what artwork's been entered. I will leave a link up in the archives too. Um, my sketchbook as well that I did for the first entry because we all started off on our own sketchbooks for the first entry and then sent it on.
Once Bonbon was fully dry, I went in with some Faber Castell Polychromos colour pencils to finish him off and add some details and to rough him up a little bit and make him look like he has fur. I chose to do this because I was struggling a little bit with the paper, so instead of rearing it or trying to push too far beyond the capacities of the paper, I thought it was best to change up medium and try and work this way. And I will say that it has worked out really well, and I really enjoyed the effect that the pencils gave the overall finish. For the second page of the sketchbook, I decided to be a little bit more experimental. I know that Cyan is a huge fan of green watercolour paint, so I thought I'd do something a bit experimental and do loads of green leaves, try out lots of different green paints. This work was very sketchy and very experimental, and nowhere near as detailed as what my normal botanical pieces usually are. Oh, and when I said Cyan is a fan of green watercolour paint, I don't mean things like sap green. The greens I'm talking about are bright, vivid greens that you just wouldn't really find anywhere else in nature, apart from some maybe very young shoots. Um, she does like really, really bright in-your-face greens. So I hope, Cyan, that you enjoy this um, little green collage, and I hope that you found them interesting. <laughs> and I hope they put a smile on your face. <laughs>
So let's take a look at everything now that it's all finished. I left the leaf sketch very basic and very stripped back, just really trying to shut off the greens and trying to have fun with it. You can see here that I used some really bright greens and some not so bright ones and I also used some granulating greens too. This was done with a mixture of handmade paints and commercial brand paints. I am really proud of that Bumbun sketch and I'm really happy with how he turned out. And I hope, Sam, that you like him too and that he did Bun Bun justice. <laughs> I hope that he. This brings you fond memories. And here on the back page, Cyan has done a passport for where all of her, where her sketchbook is going to for all of the countries that it's stopping at. So she's asked us all to find a stamp or draw a stamp and put it at the back of the sketchbook. So I used a stamp from Edinburgh and that was one I used for the UK. And this brings us to the end of this little sketchbook entry. I hope you really enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments what you think and if you've ever taken part in a community challenge and how it went. But that's all for today guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week and take care everybody and I'll see you in the next video.